trailer this past week for the Halo TV series. Now, again, like, you know, I know uh, <sighs> movies and TV shows based on video games, like, don't have the best reputation a lot of the times. But I remember years ago when I first heard about Halo being made into, like, either a movie or a TV series, even though I never played the games religiously, like, I had, like, a general idea as far as, like, what they're about. I'm like, all right, if that's done well, maybe that could be something. And if you don't know, um, this is based, on, of course, on the popular video game series uh, as extraterrestrials wage war on humanity in the 26th century. Now, Darius, are you a fan of the games? I am a massive fan of the games. I have the original Xbox, the 360, every single xbox i've had gotten i've played every single halo game and i've read a good chunk of the books i love halo <laughs> they have halo books yes yes they do <laughs> all righty uh so how do you feel about this show because it's weird i was expecting something that looked a bit more cinematic but again maybe that's just because like, I first heard about this, and it was, like, supposed to be a movie, right? If I yeah. remember correctly, Peter Jackson was attached to have a hand in this. Mm -hmm. But I watched the last couple of trailers, and I'm sure the visuals are fine, especially for a TV show. But it looks very much like a stereotypical sci-fi TV show. Like, I got, like, I from, like, what I've seen of commercials for, like, the newer Star Trek TV series, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I got kind of similar uh, feelings to those, if that makes sense. Understandable. I mean, like, as a Halo fan, it's cool to finally see a live-action interpretation of this character and this world, because I think there's a lot they can do with it. There's And there's a lot of lore and backstory already. There's about, like, 15 different Halo games that aren't part of the na main narrative. You know, there's, like, Halo Wars, Halo ODST. There, there's so many different Halo properties that they can look into and really dive deep into the lore of the Spartans, how they came about. They're essentially super soldiers, let's face it. That's really what the Spartans mm -hmm. are. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's... And Master Chief is, like, is an iconic character. He's an iconic character for Xbox, and that's also going to be interesting to see what mm -hmm. they do with him. Um, if a lot, of, a lot of fans probably already know his history and backstory, and from the show, it seems like they're going in a drastic, uh, different direction. But I think overall, for me, I'm disappointed and I'm upset because this is such a huge IP, and it it doesn't feel like they're honoring it. Uh, cinematically, at least, because this should have been a movie, not a shit show. That's just my opinion. Should have been a movie. Mm -hmm. um, but even as a show, I am impressed with some of the visuals, but not all of them. But at this point, for me, is now, if it's officially, I have to watch at least the first two episodes to see how I feel. I've already been hearing negative things, but just from the trailers, I'm already upset with a few things. And one of them is something that you just don't do with characters that have helmets on and their helmets stay on. <laughs> But I digress. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. But I, I got to watch at least the first two episodes to really see how I feel about it. Yeah, because if it's one thing that I got from the trailers, and again, this is coming from someone who didn't really play the games. I may, think maybe played like, I don't know, Halo 3 like a couple times with my friends, but, you know, I never really got into it. And based on the trailer, it's weird. Like, I don't know if this is what they're going for. But the story feels very unfocused. Like, I don't know exactly what it's about. Like, you know, it showed, like, throughout a big chunk of the trailer, it showed, like, a bunch of, like, scattered characters. And I'm like, okay, who am I supposed to be rooting for? Who are, like, the mm -hmm. side characters here? Who, or is there anyone, like, helping? Like, I know Master Chief was, like, you know, the big dog, right? Like, you know, he's the main character. But even then, like, even just based on watching the trailer, it's like, is he even the main character? In this show. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just like a crazy speculation, but like it didn't feel like the show was about him. Yeah, that's it's weird because it's like there are definitely certain characters in the show that you see that are from like Halo 3 that played a big part in Master Chief, you know, and even Halo in general. You know, Dr. Halsey, she basically had a hand in creating one of the best, you know, Base Spartans and soldiers ever Spartan one one John one one seven you know Master Chief himself and you know and he has a pretty tragic the the idea of the Spartans and what they are and how they came to be 
is actually pretty tragic. So being able to mm-hmm. see that in live action interpretation would be cool. However, my issue with from the trailers is that is not solely focused on Master Chief to the point where like this is going to feel like Halo. You know, it's it's gotcha. cool that they want to go into the inter the galactic politics of things because that is something Halo has done, um, and quite heavily as well, and even ethically because of how of what they did to the Spartans. Um, but just overall, it's just, it feel it felt and looked unfocused. And that's my biggest mm-hmm. worry. And seeing other people online also talking about this Halo show, they're all basically, we're, we're saying the same, similar things that this doesn't look Halo. It looks like it's just a sci-fi action with Halo slapped on. It doesn't feel like Master Chief. It has the visual elements of Halo, but it doesn't look or feel like Halo, considering what they're also doing with the character of Master Chief, specifically. Hmm. So do you have, uh, this premiere is on Paramount Plus on March 24th. Do you have Paramount Plus? Because I don't. I do not, but if there's a free trial, then I'll do it. <laughs> 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 but um, I, 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 I want it to be good, but I'm not sure. And hearing what the der- show, one of the showrunners has said about the show and how they wanted to tackle it is also very worrying. He's he was like, basic, yeah, he was basically saying that, oh, we didn't take a look at the games. We didn't take a look at any of the media, uh, Halo mediums. We wanted to do our own thing. And I'm just like, it's an app. It's fucking m- stupid. Oh, my. You, you don't say, like, what? You got to do your homework. Like, uh- like you, like here's the thing. Like when it comes to adapting anything, like how can you adapt something if you haven't really experienced that thing that you're adapting? Like can you imagine? Can you imagine? Like for example, like the Lord of the Rings movies, right? Can you imagine Peter Jackson not reading any of the books exactly. before sitting mm-hmm. down to co-write the script? I mean, come on, that's that that makes literally no sense. Yeah, like, and, and that's just a quick sum up of what he said. There's more. But the basic gist of it is that, oh, we we didn't really go to the Halo games or any of the other Halo mediums. We just knew of the character and went our way. And it's just like, that's not how you, at least in my eyes, that's not how you properly adapt an IP like Halo or really any IP you're adapting into a game, movie, you know, show, that sort of thing. So I'm with that alone, I am very worried. Very worried. Yeah. Because, like, here's the thing, you know, if, Obviously, you know you're not gonna have everybody play the games, right? That's like attached to the sort of exactly. project. But at least hire some people, like hire people on like the writing team that have that have a personal attachment to the franchise. And even as like you know from like a producer's end, like say you're a producer that hasn't played the games, like okay, the writers who have played the games hand you the treatments, the scripts, or whatever, and you see from your point of view as an audience member if it works um, thematically, if it works uh, from a storytelling point of view. But like don't just don't go about this with the approach that like, oh, we're not really checking out the source material. That makes literally no sense. Makes yeah. absolutely no sense. So we'll just, I guess, you know, I mean, if it seems like we've gotten some reception for the show already, and it seems to be like kind of mixed, maybe a little bit towards a negative end. And based on what I saw in the trailer, like, I feel like that's how like it would end up being anyway, like how it ended up being mm-hmm. received anyway. So for all you guys, um, do you have any thoughts on the Halo series? Do you actually plan on checking it out? Are you a big fan of the games? Are you not a big fan of the games? Leave your thoughts wherever it is that you can. All right.